be doing a painting today in soft pastels. I have pastel pencils. I have my soft pastel sticks. And I have 140 pound watercolor paper. So let's get started. Let's start with the sky. And I'm gonna to try to save some of the weight of the paper for clouds. I'm gonna start fairly dark in this corner. And the same thing over here. I do mark off a little bit where, approximate where my um, mat will go over top of it. So when I frame it, And I'm going to take my finger and start blending. We're going to do sort of a bold painting today. Something dark, something bold. Now, be aware where you want your clouds. As you get near the clouds, you're going to get lighter and lighter. Let's get over here. Let's blend this down. Okay. And you sort of want it darker off to the corners. Bring your eyes in where the lighter colors are. Let's bring that color right down. We're just dragging it. Then we're gonna go in with some pinks. Maybe along the horizon. Get some color in here. Let's get some of that blues mixed in. Give it sort of a lavender. I'm gonna go back in, maybe a few dark areas here. You can see between the clouds. Maybe right in here. And we can darken it more as we go along. I'm gonna blow off some of the excess. Okay. Just Clean my fingers a little bit. I'm gonna take some of the white and I'm pushing very, very firmly with this. Some of these areas where it's white on the paper will have the clouds in. Can even go over into the area where there's some blue. They look like they're drifting across there. I'm gonna take my paper towel, and not only does that blend it, but it also lifts some of the color back off. So it lightens some of the areas as well. And I keep moving it around to a clean spot. And see how dark that is. And that's, and see how lighter it got. I can even use now some of the dirtier spot. I can come in and do a little more blending up in here. take some of my pinks and just down at the bot base of some of those clouds add a little since we've got some pinks down here all right we're gonna leave that at that for right now I'm just kind of brush the excess off if I get it too dark then when I go to put my trees or any type of 
landscape stuff in, it's going to be a little more harder to cover. So we can come in and darken areas after once we settle in what we have. I think we're going to have maybe one, two evergreens over here. And just back and forth. And same thing here. Right now, I'm just sort of placing things. I'm not trying to build a tree. And I think, you know what? I'm going to take some of that dark blue and some gray. And I think I'm going to have, I'm just going to put a little mountain range in here. Right below those trees. And of course those trees are going to come down below that mountain down to oh, maybe somewhere in there. We don't know. We'll worry about that. I'm going to add some grays along in there. I'm going to take some of the whites on the one side. So whatever color we put over, it's going to be lighter automatically. Whatever we put over here, it's going to be darker. So let me see. I do have a purple in here. So very lightly I'm going to color. I mean, I can keep adding color on top of color. But right now I'm just trying to establish where those mountains are. And I can even bring it. And you can see how with that white, I can bring that color over here, but it basically stays lighter. And same thing here. Drag those out. And I can even take some of the blue, the blue from the sky. Not putting a lot, just changing up that color a little bit, sort of, so it isn't bright purple. You can even take some of that pink maybe on this side. It's picking up some of the reflections of it. I don't want a lot of it in there. I don't want pink mountains. All right. Now that we got that, I'm gonna wipe my fingers a little bit. Wipe my, clean my, and I'm gonna, this is gonna be mist down the bottom. And when we put our little trees coming up the mountain or whatever our landscape, maybe we want to do some hills. I like that idea. Maybe, maybe there's a some green hills coming along here below those mountains. That's just kind of. And you can change your mind if you decide, nah, you know what, I don't like that. I can go back in, add a little purple to that. And we've got some, maybe some purple hills down here. So you can change your mind, but you can still see some of the green in there. In fact, I think, I think. I'm gonna get that one a little higher. Do the white on one side. Where's that blue? So we got a hill there. And you can see where the white was. It's sort of a misty 
area right in here. We've lost some of it here. We'll just add some back in. That keeps it. Where's my purple? Here, we'll just sort of outline that. Okay. So we got that. Again, get that misty area. That's our separator. Let's go into our greens. And I'm just up and down. Maybe there's some trees. Some shrubs. We don't know. It's back in the distance, and these are going to come down. I'm just kind of pushing up, just blends them in. I'm going to take. Oh, where's my medium green here? Give them something to stand on. A little grassy area. Alright. And then here I'm gonna get a few trees that Stand up a little taller. Maybe there's a taller one here. You don't need a lot of these, just just enough to make it look like there's something back here growing. A little darker down here. All right, now these are right here. And I'm gonna And as I get down towards the bottom, the bottom gets wider. And it's going to sit right here on these hill. Maybe, maybe there's a third one here. Alright, so we've got... we got a whole little forest growing there. So we got our mountains. I'm going to go back in and get my darker blues, maybe in here, darken this area in. I'm going to add more color wherever we need it. How dark do you want your sky? Here. I'm going to leave it a little lighter towards the tops of the mountains. I don't want to lose the tops of the, my mountains. Up here. Maybe it's getting towards evening. There's my pinks. Maybe a little more pink along here. More on the bottom of these clouds. Oh. I actually think I'm going to have a little more right in here. Almost look almost a different color lavender than the mountains. So I think I'm going to darken those clouds just a smidgen. It's getting towards the evening. Not going to be too bright. All right. On the mountains, I'm not even going to pull up a few, maybe trees in the distance. And I'm going to add just just a touch of green to that. These are far away, so they almost almost picking up the color of the mountains. And then as they come down, of course they're going to. Start getting more of the 
green color showing. And we can even put a few over on this side. Okay. Let's get that top of that mountain just a little. Yeah, there we go. And I think I'm gonna actually put a taller tree here. Gonna come down there a little bit further. All right, I like that. All right, on this side, let's see. Maybe. Oh, let's let's do one. I'm not pushing hard on this. I'm just kind of smudging them in a little bit. And they stand back, you know, you might need a few more over here. We'll put a few here. And then on the bottom, we'll just kind of pull that out. And give it a little, little bit of land there. Okay, now we need to decide. What do we want up front? Do we want water? Do we want maybe a, a road going back into the mountains, maybe a little path, maybe, maybe something coming out here. And of course it gets wider as it comes forward. And that's just kind of establishing where it's gonna be. brown. We'll bring it out a little further there. Widen it out a little further there. We'll put some rocks or something, you know, we'll add something to it. But right now, I think a little darker back here. Looks like it goes back in there. All right, so now we need up front our middle green. And we can go back to our darker greens. And by changing the color, you put different layers into it. It kind of pushes everything back. It adds shadow color. Looks like maybe there was a something here causing a shadow. In fact, there'll be more of a shadow here with these trees. So we can add a little more darker in there. And on this side, we can do the same thing. Where's my middle green? So that's gonna come right there. And I'm gonna get my brightest greens. Maybe there's a patch of sun still peeking in through those clouds. And then my darker one's right in this corner. In fact, if, if you do it right, you can even make it look like the land is sort of going uphill. All right, so we've got our basic 
Add a little more sky right here. Not sure where we're gonna put our mat at. We may put it over further this way. And on this side, we can add a little right along that edge of that tree. All right, and we're gonna come back in, pick up what we lost. All right, so we've got a nice little mountain. Now we gotta decide do we like it that dark? Do we want a little bit lighter? Do we want it? Do we want to establish? I think we're going to come in and we're going to darken this little patch of sunlight hitting right in here. I told you we're going to get a real colorful here. Where's my purples? We're gonna even darken the side of that mountain. Now you can go in, now that we've more or less established where most things are, we can go in and darken areas. Now be careful when you darken areas though. You don't wanna lose that little mist that separates. You don't wanna cover up our nice trees that we have done. So you've got to sort of pick and choose where you want to add some color. Maybe there's a shadow on this side of the road. The mountain's kind of blocking some of the light. I'm going to come back in with this. here. We can even come in with some white. Get a patch there where it's lighter. We also I want to pick up some grass blades growing along the road. These are some darker ones. Pick out the areas where it's darker. Alright, and let's find a little bit lighter ones. our brightest ones. Now you can take some rolled paper. You can buy these, but I'm going to just kind of hit the bottom of it, kind of set them down. And I'm going to kind of just very lightly pull up. Okay, so we got some grasses growing along the road. In fact, take my paper towel right in here, scrub a section out. Here's where your pencils come in handy. Ah. Seems I'm losing my lead here. And where's my blue? And I can kind of outline that a little. Make a little puddle of water there. White right in the center of it. Kind of 
across the edge there and just put that back in. All right, we got a little puddle of water there. You can also take your browns. Maybe there's some pebbles, a few rocks out there. I mean, you can put in what you want. Let's go back and uh, darken the bottom of these trees and then kind of pull that out a little bit. You can even go and put a few highlights on with the, some of your lighter. These are too far away. I'm not going to worry too much about those. I even have pale yellow that you can add some highlights if you want. Alright, that's these grasses further back. I'm going to kind of smudge out a little bit. Up here, you're going to see more detail. Back here, you're not going to see as much. I'm going to take, and these trees almost seem like they're floating, so by putting a little color underneath and pulling it sideways, it kind of sets them down. And then bring them right down into that. All right. Very nice, nice. You can go in here. So do we want up something up front? Maybe a big rock, a tree? How about Okay, let's see. Let's yeah. Oh, let's get a big tree. Take a little bit of, oh, where is that? A little lighter brown here. Oh, let's take this one. It's, and I'm just sort of hitting and missing on this. Just giving it some contrast. Now this, you're going to have to be a little more careful. You can even use your blending stick if you want. And for the smaller ones. All right. Down here, of course, we're going to put some grasses. And even come in, there's my yellow. Alright, and on this, we can put some small twigs.
Okay. So we got a big tree established. Let's go put some leaves on it. You decide, is it fall? We're gonna put some bright color leaves on it. If it's spring, maybe green ones. You decide what, how colorful you want your painting. Since we're doing so much color in here, I'm gonna kind of giving the impression. I'm not drawing every leaf. I'm not even attempting to do that. I'm just sort of hitting and missing here and there in a random pattern. We'll even go a little bit lighter, maybe. Not too much on the yellow. Maybe on one side here. Just a few. Enough of those down here. You can even put a few in the grass. These are kind of smudging out. They're just kind of laying in a pile down here. Let's get a couple more red ones. We smudged that a little too much, so let's go back and establish a few. All right. Maybe, maybe right in here. You need a little color. You stand back, take a look, see what you think. You can always go back in, change things up. pencil. Got a couple birds right in this light spot. They're heading in one swirl further back. And look at it. Stand back. Do we need anything? Get your mat. Set it over top. How far over do you want it? Bring it down. Bring it up. And I think we've done pretty good. I think we'll sign that and call that a finished painting. Hope you enjoyed that one.